It is time to showcase the power of the most iconic tank of World War II, or really better put, one of the many iconic tanks of the Second World War, the T-3485. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad. No, of course. It is Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront. Continuing on with our early uh, YouTube and streamer creator multiplayer first look. This has been quite exciting so far, and today we're going to uh, play with test mode on, as we have a few times. We're going to take a look at the T-3485-1944 model, which means we're under late war statistics or doctrine for the Soviet Union, going with, I think, what is the Shock Army, which is the offensive uh, doctrine here. So we're playing a 2v2, two hard AI versus, uh, well, me and another hard AI. I'm going to let the enemy get the uh, course of battle rolling a little bit here first before we start calling out the tanks, or... We can call them out now, I guess. We just shouldn't use them until they're ready. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's a giant, like, buried uh, slurry tank or something, or a fuel tank that's been buried underground. That's kind of cool. Awesome. Well, this has been many, many, many days coming, as we haven't really seen too many of the T-3485s in this game. We've seen a few. We fought a few. Uh, but this is the first time that we're going to actually call them out and uh, fight with it. So we'll go ahead and uh, get a few of these going. And I wanted to try to play mostly with the... T-3485. We'll call out some other tanks if we want to, like, for example, the IS-2. I think we should showcase that a little bit as well. But, uh, of course, this is a, really a, just an awesome set of equipment that we have, and probably one of the best that I've seen so far in the game. The ability to call out uh, T-3457s and 76s. The Soviets here, under this doctrine, really have a lot of power, and especially a lot of armor, too. We have some good artillery, mortars, anti-tank guns, and, of course, some very good infantry, too. Not as good as the other doctrines, but we'll probably see what they have to offer. Uh, right here we have machine gun and auxiliary detachments, and we also have ourselves uh, some rifle squads, guards, rifles, and black jackets to use, too. So these are pretty good infantry, though our focus is going to be on the tanks. We'll let our ally try to take some of the field, and in order to not let us get walloped, we'll also... Uh, kind of counterattack at a certain point. Now, we're only playing to a thousand points, so this shouldn't last too long, but we'll let the Germans, uh, you know, lull them into a false sense of security, and as they take the territory in front of them, we'll be building up our T-34 army ready to go. One of the cool things in this game, too, in, in many games, is that we can actually put our rifle squads on the back of these tanks, so if we want to take our most elite fighters and put them onto the back of T-34s, we can. We can call out whole squads of infantry, and most of them can get on the tanks, not all of them. I hope that'll be uh, changed in the future where a full squad can ride on a tank. Maybe not, uh, you know, obviously there's plenty of space on these tanks, so not all the room in the world. It's definitely not a transport vehicle, but looks like four or five men can take a uh, seat on the back here. Looks like four on each tank. I'd argue that a few more could probably sit on the sides and whatnot, but it's all good. Let's go ahead and get another T-34 out. We'll get the rest of our infantry to jump on the back of this one. There we go. All right, so we've got five T-34s ready to go with a bunch of guards troops ready to go as well. We'll get ready to break through the enemy's lines. Wow, we haven't even captured a single flag. Enemies mostly got infantry. We'll launch a uh, infantry attack on this right, left side then, and we'll go right with the tanks later. This map's uh, definitely got a lot of uh, mud and snow, dirt, and water on it. And that actually is a factor in these types of battles, too. You may have seen that uh, many of these tanks, if they travel on the roadways, they will travel a lot faster than if they travel in the mud. In this game, at least, it takes that into account, as, as you would imagine it being the case in real life. All right, we're going to go ahead and get these guards' riflemen close. If we don't attack, the Germans will know something's up, but we don't want them to know our full plan with the stack of T-3485s ready to go. We also have access to some artillery, as I mentioned. And that might help us to break through some of these defenses if the Germans happen to occupy trenches that are already, by default, present on the map. For example, right here. The Germans, you can see, firing from and near the trenches. All right, our troops are in combat. Semi-automatic rifles are firing up. We've got a friendly squad here. Almost hard to see in this landscape. These uniforms are... Really good colors for this territory. Everything's white, gray, green color. It all blends together. All right, the enemy certainly has the advantage here. Let's go ahead and bring up a light armored car, as they call the clown car or the shoe. Vehicle spawning there. We'll get our tanks out of the way for the spawn. 
maybe we can put them on a road. Looks like the Allies calling out some tanks here. T-60 being called out. We'll go ahead and get our tanks out of the way. Obviously the sound of an auto cannon out there, more than likely like a Panzer, maybe a Panzer II. Hets are there. Oh boy, the Germans are going to get devastated. Some of our men have been wounded by the German sustained reinforcements. Get our T-34 is ready to rock here. Putting them against the corner so the enemy doesn't really spot them. There we go. And if they can't see them, they can't shoot them, so they'll be safe for when we choose to use them. Alright, Red Guards are devastating German infantry by this flag. Let's see if we can call up a flamethrower T-34. If we have access to one. Oh, well, we have close quarters infantry. Ah, we have two T-3485s that can be called out with infantry on board them as well. So that's one of the callouts of this faction. We'll have to save our points for a IS-2 if it calls for it. If the enemy happens to call out a King Tiger, that type of thing. I've also noticed a little more chugging in this uh, episode too. Germans are making their way towards the other flag. I guess they might possibly be fleeing. All of our troops. Dead or wounded, but not as much as the Germans. And here comes the red swarm. Excellent. Good to see. All right, armored car is going to chew up all those troops. There's a position there where the enemy... Yep, yep, definitely has a lot of fire. Go ahead and get down and continue to engage at a close range. Wow, we need to be faster. T-70 is not going to be great here. We have a Hetzer there. Battle's almost half over. It is time to strike, I believe. And in retaliation for the destruction of a BA-64, it is time to take the field. T-3485 is moving out with their infantry on board. And they should be able to fire on anything that moves. Would you look at that? Well, it looks like the uh, friendly AI has brought up black jackets. Russian Marines, basically. Very well equipped. Also going to try to trick, uh, take this trench line here against the enemy. Let's see if we can provide some fire. And we'll try to capture the two center flags. Surprise, Germans! Oh, they got quite a few Hetzers there. Now, I don't know if the infantry will auto-jump off. I wish they would. Oh, there's Hetzers everywhere here. We've at least got three on the field. I see one, two, three or four. Oh my goodness. Time for an IS-2. Damn the losses, push in and capture the positions. Tank here can stop. Damn, it's starting to play like uh, Men of War Assault Squad. What the hell? <laughs> One FPS. I guess it's just because a ton of infantry have been spawned by both sides. It's more than I've seen before. Let's get that hat. Let's get the Hetzer, boys. Uh oh, is that a panther? Uh oh. Uh oh, I see multiple panthers. Get wrecked. 
Oh, worse than I thought. Well, it was a panther. I didn't see this, though. Great. This is fine. Well, it's time to take on a uh, king tiger. Maybe we'll need to call in a couple of these. And continue to rush them with T-34s. We are the Soviets, so we should be able to get a ton of vehicles. Looks like the AI has called out a IS-2 as well. Has that Tiger been destroyed? No, it has not. to make that a priority. Some of our men have captured the trench lines. T-34s are ready to cut through. Taking a lot of damage, but look at the amount of German tanks we've destroyed. Multiple Hetzers knocked out. Multiple Panzer IVs. Some tank destroyers in the back. The biggest threat now being that King Tiger and Panther that can zip through our tanks here shortly. T-34s, namely. All right, we need to keep cutting through these tanks. Looked like for a moment that it uh, deployed smoke launchers. Let's go for the Panther. Oh, over the top of the panther. Alright, T-34s, let's go ahead and just crazily rush their positions. Let's be crazy with our attacks. Overwhelm them, boys. Anybody who can move, let's move. All right, let's engage. Oh, look at that, baby. Beautiful. Tanks are zipping in. Panthers in jeopardy. We're charging in, boys. Well, no wonder the frame rate is 1 FPS with all the tanks and infantry. This is a hell of a battle. Probably the largest one we fought so far. Devastating. Devastating. That Tiger, too. Hero of the Soviet Union for those. That T 34 just wiped out two tanks. Alright, it's time to launch our last assault. Bring the rifle squad up here. Let's try to capture this last position. We'll also bring some IS-1s over. Alright, let's go with horde tactics. Let's see what happens. Every other T-34 has just been damaged. It's almost not even repairing, worth repairing at the moment. It'll just take too long. Friendly infantry all in the trenches. And the IS-2 is in a great position in the back, cutting through enemy tanks at a really good distance. Mostly just dealing with the small tanks now. 
Although the enemy has a... Ah, uh, another Tiger too over here that they're being a little bit more cautious about. Let's try another IS-2 on this right side to deal with that Tiger II. And let's release all of our tanks into the center. We need more guns. Wow. Yeah, no wonder. I don't think I've seen this much vehicles and infantry. This is really testing this game at the moment. I'm looking to see if I have anything open in the background, and it just seems not. This game runs smooth as hell, but now we're getting Men of War flashbacks. This is one FPS. I hope you guys are enjoying the slideshow. If you haven't yet subbed already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that subscribe button to see more of this, and also smash the like button. I think we're going to have to play out another battle here, boys. It's just popping off. Look at all those vehicles. About to win this one if the Soviets uh, are able to destroy another enemy tank. The Egg Panther, for example, on the field. The Egg Tiger on the field. Oh, I thought I saw one. Just need to destroy something. Wow, that is what a chug, the amount of, uh, maybe this might be from test mode, but oh my god, devastation. Look at all those tanks, that's why. Oh my god, that number of tanks out here is ridiculous. Probably a good thing we actually chose a shorter mission. By the way, look at how much time we've lost, this game sinks every frame. So right now, in this video, it should be somewhere around nine, uh, 17 minutes. The game has only accounted for 12. So by the end of this battle, it could be about, oh damn, about five minute loss in real life. That means five minutes have basically just been uh, paused. A paused frame, that's crazy. That gives you an idea of how massive this battle actually is. T-34s. We've sent up more of those. The IS-2s are basically just keeping the enemy back, allowing the T-34s to really cut through anything else in front of us. Look at the amount of smoke. Dear God. All right, let's do that again. We'll have to run with some more tanks. Let's modify our setup a little bit and see if we can do some bigger battles with more tanks. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah, I've said it. More. All right, on another battlefield, one we're all too familiar with from our beautiful Tiger tank and Panther tank, uh, video. I believe this is six feet. No, it's an. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes, it is a uh, eight-player battle. Wow. All right. Well, I've turned off fog of war so we can keep an eye on what the Germans are up to. They're on this side of the river, and we're over here, and we'll try to go for more T-34s this time as well. Instead of launching a large attack at the uh, very start, or rather, you know, calling out all the tanks in order to get them loaded up, we're going to start with a pair of T-34-85s. And we've also changed the doctrine in which we're with now. So we have a SU-152, which I don't think I've used before. And if I have, it's been very lightly. We'll call one of those out as well for some of the heavy tanks. And we'll get maybe a group of three of these T-34s ready to go. This is the 1944 variant. Was the other one the 43? I can't recall now. But um, we have access to pretty much the same vehicles aside from the fact that we... Uh, replace the IS-2 now with the Katushas and airstrikes and the uh, SU-152. Pretty cool. Um, T-70s are in here. Another T-3045 as well, so we can add to our tank forces if we want to from the other menu. The other menu, again, is a call-out menu for basically like special points that really can help to turn the battle if you're short a little bit on uh, points. All right, well, are we still on the same side, too? We started before? No, uh, it seems like opposite. Anyway, we'll go left and see if we can cross this river here. We'll go capture this position. And uh, we'll keep a few of the tanks on this side. And we'll get one of our squads up here. We'll get a guard's rifle. Keep them here, though, so we can capture. Actually, this might be a better position. There we go. All right, the real battle is going to go down into the middle. 
It's going to be spam haven in there. So we already see like T60s and such, which means the Germans probably have like Panzer 3s. Damn, they love those Hetzers. A lot of Hetzers. The AI really likes to start with those. Interesting tactic. <laughs> and yes, even more. Wow, what's up with the Hetzers? Even more! That must be how they're programmed. Alright. Yeah, enemy pushing forward on the right with a Panzer II off stealth. As soon as that's out of the way, the boys will more than likely be able to capture that river there. So I'm going to try to focus on the left side here as we see a battle going on around us. We can assist in other areas with the T-34s. And of course the uh, 152. This has the same gun as the KV-2 in terms of like um, caliber. Essentially the uh, artillery piece. Really just in this game you can think of it as the same. They are different guns. They are, there are much di many differences between them. But there is an artillery piece that's 152. Uh, there's the ISU-152 and then the KV-2 all kind of have some of the similar characteristics. So just think of it as kind of a, a difference, uh, but very similar in terms of its purpose of deployment. In other words, if you want to kill a Tiger, use the ISU-152 or use a KV-2 or use artillery, and it should be able to cause devastation to that Tiger. Let's go ahead and add stuff up here. Three of these tanks will provide overwatch for what will be more than likely an infantry attack with the entirety of the German convoy bogged down in incompetence. Interesting. All right, well, let's get the ISU-152 here. We'll put that on hold fire for now. And we'll just wait until we've captured this flag and see if we can build up a force to really push the Germans back. We'll need some additional tanks now that we see what they're doing here. Let's get all of our tanks in a convoy. There we go. Alright, so we've got our tanks coming over. And that should add a few more. Looks like we're pretty even in points. Pretty close. I don't know if there's an, been an update here, but I'm just noticing more chug than ever before. And it could be because we're in a test mode battle, so maybe the enemy gets to call out much more than they normally would, too. In previous variants of test mode, only the player was able to call out all this stuff. But I would assume if the enemy could call out... Well, then again, they did call out Tiger 2s pretty much at the start. There might not be a call down. Otherwise, why not start with uh, Tiger 2s? We'll see. All right, we've got our tanks lined up. More tanks on the way. T-70 firing. We hold, what, three or four flags, looks like. I can see four up here. It looks like we hold everything on our side of the river, plus one on the right side. Where? Ooh, there's some flames. Why? Maybe the enemy called up a flamethrower? Wow, the bridge is on fire. That looks sweet. Now, I don't think bridges in this game can be destroyed, so if you're thinking of it being like a tactic to artillery the bridge or light it on fire, I don't think that's going to work. But there's many ways in this game to get around a destroyed bridge. You just simply drive on the side, and that's it. Just a less direct route. Alright, tanks approaching the left side. Enemies pulling ahead just a little bit, but we'll be able to devastate all these tanks soon. Unfortunately, we've got to go pretty far for this battle. And of course, we will more than likely lose these tanks, so we'll set up a reserve force. And we'll call up probably eight tanks here. There we go. Crazy amount of armor being deployed. Some tanks probably even being caught up back at the spawn point. Like this one here arriving late. Should fit in right here. 
All right, so we'll attack with four on the right, three on the left, plus the ISU-152. Wow, this is going to be amazing. Now, if we played with test mode off, we would just have to wait longer to get all this stuff, but it does allow us to see a little bit more of an example. This is a great mode to go into as well if you're wondering um, how exactly maybe to fight at the start of a battle or something. You can fight against the AI and just get used to playing the game. It's also good for cool cinematic pieces and such as well. T-34 here, we're firing, probably HE. Alright, let's approach. Okay, I see 152 giving orders to fire. We'll wait till all of our force is in line. Wow. Nice explosion there. The hell was that? ISU 152. Big explosion there from that gun. Nicely done. T-34 is firing from the roadway. Infantry are crossing. We better get ready to support. There we go. All right. All tanks have been given an order to advance on the road. We're waiting for our reserve force to get into position. We'll stack up four tanks here and four tanks there. We'll more than likely take losses due to Hetzers at some point. And anything else that comes our way, probably like a Panther soon. We now see Phase 2 vehicles, Stukes and Panzer IVs. Another shot from the SU-152. Oh, we're already winning the battle on the right side. Um, capture that center. Actually, su surprised to see us at uh, four out of five. All right, here comes the T-34s. of vehicles to cut through and a hell of a lot of infantry to get through. All right, we got to clean up a little bit of this lag, so I'm going to go ahead and call in the, uh, the delete button on some of this garbage. I'm cheating. I'm doing a little cheating. Ah, these are all just auto cannons and junk sitting in the back. If they're not going to use it, they're going to lose it. A lot of these tanks are just sitting here and not even doing any sort of anything. Wow, another explosion from the SU-152. Alright, our anti-lag countermeasures are being deployed. Wow. Massive explosion there. T-34 is going to see you doing the majority of the killing. Thank you, IL-2s. We got to clean things up, boys. go. 
That'll speed things up. They're having a bad day. Alright, let's release everything. Unleash hell. Gates of hell are now open for business. That moment when an MG42 becomes a muzzle loader. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna push all the T-34s forward now. I'm actually having trouble to control. There we go. Alright, let's clean up the left side. Parking lots need to be obliterated. Nope, don't want to shoot the tigers. I want to. I want to battle with those. Oh my God. Well, again, this is test mode, so what you're seeing now is not going to be representative of, really, the final game. Of course, this is early version, but more that it's not going to be typical that people play in, like, an unlimited, unrestricted mode. It would make it a little bit... It would be funny, but it wouldn't really make it uh, challenging or competitive in any way. And that, of course, is something you want in war, so... Wow, the devastation from that SU-152 again... Every time that thing fires, it's like an entire squad dies. Well, T-34s are making their way. Finally crossing the river. Oh yeah, here they come. Huge number of those tanks coming across the river. Some of our tanks have been hit and tracked, so they're throwing out the AI pathing around those vehicles, damn. I have a feeling when the community gets a hold of this to make their own missions, it's going to be uh, interesting to find out exactly how to balance everything. These two tanks might be dead. I want to see what this does to... Uh, that one's alive, but let's see what it does to corpses. I want to see if it flings it around. My god, man. Well, when we play as the Germans, we usually call out like a Tiger II or a Tiger or a Panther or maybe two or three of them. And that's the battle won. As the Soviets, we need about 25. Sweet to see this river crossing, though, at 1 FPS. Everything's like a chess move. Wow, whoa, 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 what the hell? There was just an incredible kill from that IL-2. I'm just trying to limit the enemy numbers. Like, they're calling out infantry and stuff that's not really going to stop us in a tank battle. I don't think that was a bomb drop there. There is off-map artillery in this game, too, uh, but it needs to be controlled by a, an artillery signaler. Oh, the Germans actually using some flamethrowers. Sweet. Oh, off the left side. Enemy half-track destroyed. All of our tanks have begun crossing the river, finally. Some across already, some tracked. We can order repairs, but that's just going to take 25 minutes. If you're going to play a... If you have an hour to spare, you have enough time to play a 15-minute uh, battle of... Uh, I mean, 15-hour battle of this and Men of War. Uh, right now, in this recording session, separate from the previous one, we are now 16 minutes into this second battle in real time. 
the game is accounting for 8 minutes 59 seconds. So it's like every other frame is just a, a freeze. Giving you an idea of how immense the AI is trying to work to command all of its vehicles and explains why I've been calling in bombing strikes this entire time. Holy crap, let's just get rid of these things. We're just going to have to delete vehicles. The Germans have already been defeated because we... Ooh, there we go. Because we've got so many tanks. Although these Tigers and stuff can stop us, but I, I, I'm going to try not to target some of those things, but clusters like that where they're not even moving, they can't even shoot at me. Like, they've got their own vehicles, like, blocking the way. So as we come in from down here, along the roadway, the well, that Panther's good, but... We're also here for explosions. Looks like the enemy can fire at the IL-2s and shoot them down. It is possible. We are finally capturing the center. Left flank is mostly overrun by Soviet tanks. There needs to be a frontline mode in this game. I would love that the most. I can't wait to see that. Our team is leading, thank God. Wow. Well, massive tank battles are possible if you have the patience in this game. If you would like to make agreements beforehand with others and say, Hey, listen, uh, hope you're taking the next couple of days off work so you can prepare mentally. And then actually play the battle. Alright, well, I want to see some of these things get destroyed. We should have time to see some big tank kills. In the back here, we see a Ferdinand, and we have... Uh, more Panthers. I cheated a bit on the left, but honestly, I think we would have won this no matter what, because we can outplay the enemy. I think a number of T-34s flanking Panthers is going to be better than what they call out. And there we go. Wow, that is, uh, that's a bad time for the enemy. Great. Thank you guys for tuning in for more of this. Start sharing some more ideas of what you have down below as well. I want to try to take uh, into account more bigger battles. I think what we'll have to do in the future is when we try out anything in test mode, it will have to be somewhat limited. So artillery, for example, if we set up like eight pieces of artillery in a standard battle, that might be a little bit more feasible. But I'd like to get back to just trying regular battles with uh, maybe differences of ideas like infantry only or infantry and light vehicles only, no tanks or only light tanks, that type of thing. All right, guys, thanks again for all the support. Smash like on the way out to uh, fight the forces of Susan and her suppression. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks again for all the love on these videos. We'll continue with more Gates of Hell sometime soon. Goodbye, everybody.